Commute for thousands of drivers turned into a neon nightmare this morning. Along with the new construction tied to Project Neon, crashes also combined to cause tie-ups in almost every part of the valley. And tonight, drivers are wondering what went wrong. When you ask, we investigate. Contact 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is live in Chopper 13 right now with some answers for us. Joe. Yeah, Steve, you mentioned it, the deadly crash on the Rainbow Curve on the 95, also that serious crash at Charleston in the 95 really didn't help matters, but it really was beyond the control of uh, construction officials. Take a live look outside right now, though. Uh, the closures of I-15 northbound that lasted three hours longer than expected was a decision that definitely has NDOT and construction crews feeling the wrath of drivers. It's not malicious, but we... Uh... <laughs> We need to make progress and make these improvements. We need to do it now. NDOT feeling the heat after Project Neon Lane closures on I-15 northbound spilled over well into the morning commute. It is a construction project, so it is fluid. NDOT says crews made so much progress, albeit three hours longer than advertised, means less impact on northbound lanes tonight between Sahara and Charleston. There were construction and there were cones out there, but like I said, it went really smoothly because I'm used to seeing it. Some drivers found their navigation systems haven't caught up with all the new twists and turns in the spaghetti bowl. We got to keep going back and resetting it and resetting and let it um, find a satellite. You know, it, it was just terrible. NDOT has partnered with an app called Waze to help navigate the maze of construction, but you can see traffic projects and problems in real time by using our KTNV app. Just look for traffic map under sections. We estimate that Project Neon will shave 30% off your morning commute for roughly $110 million annual savings through increased productivity. NDOT says traffic through the spaghetti bowl will double during the next 20 years and improvements are long overdue. The billion dollar project is 60% done and the main event is just getting started. And back out here live at Chopper 13, you can see traffic kind of just inching its way down southbound through the Spaghetti Bowl on I-15. There will be nightly restrictions through tomorrow morning. We have details on our website. That's on KTNV.com. Reporting live at Chopper 13, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. All right, thank you, Joe. And as always, if you have a problem or an issue you want us to check out, send an email to 13investigates at KTNV.com. And please be sure to include your name and phone.